Hey Youtubers! <laughs> You'd think by now that I'd know my lighting, but no, nope, not really. I am standing at my window, <laughs> looking outside. I think it's gonna rain. I, um, I'm about to go head out and get some groceries, maybe a few other things. No, mainly groceries. I need to get groceries. And um, at least for like the next few days. And I, I, I didn't sleep much at all yesterday or the day before. So I caught up on some sleep like today. I kind of slept the day away, kind of. But... Um, I just, for whatever reason, just wasn't letting my mind, like, rest and the whole thing. So, um, instead of me walking to the stores like my usual, I'm just going to take the train. Which I don't like doing because in my mind I'm like, oh, well, that's $5 that you could have used on something else, you know, or um, when it's, like, a walkable distance. But... I not only do I feel a little tired, I also like my muscles are also sore um from rehearsals, I guess, and like back to back rehearsals, you know. And um and I think it's going to rain also like any second. So, which usually I don't mind. I just take an umbrella, you know, whatever. But yeah, I'm just going to going to go easy and and take the CTA. And um, and also I'm I may be carrying more than I usually do, so I don't really want to put that on my back, because sometimes I feel like borderline when I'm walking around, like ah, oh, you know, this is probably not the best for my back, because I have like a slight injury in that area. So, anyways, that's what I'm about to do. I just thought I would give something like a little intro. Hey, fellow YouTubers, I have a haul for y'all. It's mainly Dollar Tree, but also a few items from Whole Foods. So we're going to get into that. I'd say it's fairly small. And um, if I didn't say it, it's, it's mostly foods. Not even snacks. Like solid food. Like I may even make dinner out of... Yeah. I feel like dinner items. Maybe even lunch items. Oh, I do have... Um, one, well, besides my, my 99 cent coffee, no sugar. I didn't have them add any sugar into it. Um, but sometimes for me with the cream, it's sweet enough. But, you know, that's to everyone's own personal taste. Um, the, back to what I was saying, this item that I purchased, um, so... In, the, in my footage, you'll see I went to Argyle. So it's a street in Chicago. Um, I think it's the uptown neighborhood. And it's mainly, mainly Vietnamese shops, food, products. So they have a bakery there. And I think it was a... Sorry, I have something in my eye. <laughs> um, I'm not sure the name of the bakery. I'll have to... I'll have to post it because there was one that I was going to go to, but it was closed. Le Patisserie, I think. So this other one is like King John or something. I don't know. If I figure it out, I'll list it. And sorry, because I should have I should have um, made sure to get the name of it. But anyways, there are there's another bakery there, too, I think, called Lucky something or other. There's only two or three bakeries on Argyle that I know of, that I've seen. But the ones that I got, I don't know how to say it in Vietnamese, but they have like the English um, name for it there. And this one was ham, egg, and green onion bun. So I'll go ahead and show you. I got two of them and they were each a dollar. They just look like this. And so they have the ham, the onion, and the egg inside. And I've gotten some before that were just ham and cheese. Or I think also ham and egg. But I, I love these because sometimes in the mornings 
I don't want to have a full breakfast and you know I just want something light and also what happens sometimes is I'm rushing I need to you know get out the door and and again I may be hungry so I, I know I need to eat something or I may not be but I know that you know, shortly after I'm gonna be starving or whatever, and so I I need something. So these are convenient. I haven't tried this specific one with the green onion, but I'm gonna try it, and I'm sure it'll be great. So there's that, and again, they were only a dollar each, so I like that. Mm. Let me see. Then uh, let me get into the Whole Foods. So, because I only have three items from there. So, we bought this one. It's Pleasant Morning Buzz from their 365 Everyday Value brand. And this one actually is, um, it's a one pound, eight ounce bag of whole coffee beans. But our store at least has the coffee grinder there. I'm not sure what you call it exactly, but... So what we do is we just open the package, uh, throw the beans in the top, you know, and then put the package underneath and fill it in because we don't have a coffee grinder here. We have a blender. I guess maybe that would work, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, so that's what we do sometimes just because it, it tastes fresher, I think, has a better flavor. But um, so back to the product, this is Vienna Roast. So you see... Like they have different roasts there, like finishes, I guess. And um, so, yeah, so this was the only one that we had not tried, at least from the different flavors or types that we had seen there. Like another one was a Pacific Rim, maybe, or Pacific Coast flavor. Another one was Bon Nuit, like Good Night in French flavor. So, yeah, we had tried... Um, we had tried those, and this was the only one from what we had seen that we hadn't tried. And it, it does says, powerfully full flavored with notes of dark chocolate. So there's that product that we got. And then um, let me just put it back in the spot I got. Because, again, I'm working with small space. Even though last night um, I did put away some of the stuff back in my kitchen, but the tall stuff, I asked boyfriend if he would just help me out with that in his own time, I guess. So, okay, this next one is the Vital Proteins, Collagen Peptides. And it's a dietary supplement for hair, skin, nails, joints, and bones. And this one is unflavored. 10 grams, so it says directions. Con combine one packet. One to two times per day with eight full ounces of cold or hot liquid and mix thoroughly. So, um, I forgot to get the receipt to give you all the exact prices on these items, but I am, this one I'm pretty sure it was like $1.50 and it was in the, the checkout aisle. Uh, let's see what else. Um, the coffee was about ten dollars that one was ten and then this next item i believe it was on sale for 250 and this is the cashew milk beverage and i don't believe i've tried cashew milk before so this is a so delicious brand soy free dairy free 40 calories unsweetened and this is one quart most of their milks like this, the shelf stable ones, they're usually about three fifty, I think. So, um, yeah, I think. I'm trying to think of what else I could mention. That's, I mean, it's gluten free, certified vegan, non GMO. Um, but yeah, I I've, I've tried the the other ones that I like are the oat. I think it's oat water. Um, I, rice water, I, and almond milk, <laughs> coconut, I used to drink soy, but now I'm staying away from those because, I'm not sure, but I had read that 
soy products should only be consumed if they're fermented. So I'm not sure if I'm correct about that. If you know, please let us know in the comments down below. Um, so fermented products would be like soy sauce or something. But um, so yeah, I'm, I love cashews. So I'm hoping I'll really like this one. And um, let's see. Okay, now, so that's done for Whole Foods. Now Dollar Tree. So for Dollar Tree, I'll get into first this piece. I hadn't seen it. I may have just skipped over it the other times that I was at Dollar Tree. Um, but this is the Curad Performance Series. Antibacterial Bandage Extreme Hold Tough Fabric. Three times more absorbent than most other leading brands. And there's 20 and supposedly it's assorted colors. So I hope they are assorted colors. That would be cool. If not, I would be okay with just the gray. I like gray. But um, in one of my other videos, and maybe I'll, I'll link it in here, um, they had uh, another type of this series, the performance series. I think it was just a large bandage or something like that. And, um, but like I said, I hadn't, I hadn't seen this particular one, but I may have just skipped over it. My Dollar Tree is small and so jam-packed that you, I usually go through the store twice if I have time to make sure that I've noticed every little thing. So, okay, the next product, and I will have a few pictures for Dollar Tree anyways. Um, this one is the Daily Defense Macadamia Oil. It's a conditioner. I only got the conditioner. I still have a shampoo in my shower, so I try not to buy products unless I've gotten you know used up the products beforehand just because back to not having a large budget um so in that way i think it saves us money because if not i would probably be a beauty product hoarder so um anyways this one is a moisturizing conditioner sulfate free and the clencher for me was um, that it's cruelty free. And I don't know if you can see the little bunny right there, if it'll focus, but um, that's, that makes the big difference for me. So, cause there's plenty of products at Dollar Tree that you know seem interesting and whatnot, but if they're not cruelty free, I typically won't buy them. So um, let me see, I'm trying to think if, um, this has like any other, you know, oh, it has castor oil. Okay, sounds cool. And it also has aloe in here and vitamin E. So that's cool. Made in Canada. And this is 16 full ounces. So the reason why I bought the conditioner was because I think I may have some conditioner in my shower. I don't I tend not to use so much uh, conditioner, like hardly ever. But this coming weekend, I'll be performing, and I and um, like with the Mexican folklorico, we we put our hair through the ringer when it comes to like you know the hairstyles and putting the head pieces in your buns, and so you have pins, and you know you just really you you tend to damage your hair. And so I thought I could get a, a somewhat lightweight conditioner um, to help my hair with that since it's not used to going through that um, wear and tear anymore. So, and it also smells nice. I, I don't know if it smells like coconut or what. Um, I did see the, I did see a couple of the coconut not near there were more there was more of this one there weren't many of the coconut so um question for you all is this a decent product or is it new i don't think i've seen it before if you know please let us know in the comments down below maybe i'll do a review on it um they did have like the deeper treatments and I did consider getting that for like just the the ends 
but I thought, oh, I'll just grab something more in the middle of the road and, and use it throughout my whole hair. So, and then, okay. So now on to food items for Dollar Tree, and we're almost done. I got these. I don't know if you've seen them in your Dollar Trees. I'm not sure if I noticed them in any hauls. I don't think so. But they were, I don't know if I can grab them all. They were three for a dollar. So let's see, what does it say? Three for a dollar, three for a dollar. So now these, I don't usually buy energy drinks, but these seemed like they weren't total energy drinks. They seemed like kind of in the middle, but it says Sparkling Grape Rush. The brand is Celsius. It's healthy energy, burns body fat, and vitamin enriched. And it also says it's a dietary supplement. This is 12 full ounces. So here, let me list off these because it says um, there's quite a lot on there. No sugar, no high fructose corn syrup, no aspartame, no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors, very low sodium, vitamin enriched, gluten free, and vegan accepted. So yeah, so, and let me see, it has a Meta Plus proprietary blend, it has taurine, guarana extract, green tea, caffeine, ginger, yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff going on here, there's vitamins in here, so I'm wondering if I'm going to do like a couple mini reviews on this one and the conditioner i'll have to get back to you guys on that and again if these items have been out and y'all have tried them and they're and they're good or not so good i would like to know because i haven't noticed them but probably after this video i'll get on youtube and look them up and uh, see if they're out there even though usually i do that before i make purchases just lately I've been kind of like off the ball with that I guess so okay next items I mentioned these in another was it like Dollar Tree like follow me or something like that I had seen them in the store anyways so the Campbell's organic soups these are one pound one ounce and so I got it in lentil I got it in garden vegetable with herbs. Two more. I got chicken noodle. And then I got chicken tortilla. So the chicken tortilla and the lentil are for boyfriend because those are two of his favorites. And then the garden vegetable and chicken noodle are for me. Those are those are some of my favorites. The one that was missing was the tomato and basil. I didn't see that one. I would have purchased that one. Um, the other one that they had there that I was not interested in was the butternut squash. You know, it probably does taste good. I just didn't have like a thing for it. Okay, and the last few items, I grabbed this one. I don't know if y'all have seen these. These seem to be popular and the soups also because when I went there before there was there was a good amount of them, and now they were, like, getting cleaned out, I guess, over the weekend. But this is 1.1 pounds, 500 grams, and it's Luma Coni, Luma Choni, I don't know, however you pronounce it. Product of Italy. It's a durum wheat semolina made with non-GMO ingredients. So it might still be GMO, but, you know. And it says it takes 9 to 10 minutes. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it has durum, wheat, semolina, and water. So I just thought it was like kind of cool shell. Very cute. And the expiration date is best before the 31st of May 2020. So we're going to check that out. What was the expiration date on these soups? I'm not even sure. Oh, May 2018. Okay, and the last two items, almost done, maybe not that exciting, but it's the California brand, blend of um, the frozen veggies and the winter blend of frozen veggies. So I'll probably use these for dinner 
make a little pasta um, with just some butter, I think. Um, I have some cream cheese. I don't know how it tastes with some cream cheese. Because I considered doing like an Alfredo sauce. But um, probably won't. And that's it, you guys. I'm pretty sure that is it. And I didn't stop once for a little Dunkin' Donuts break. Just kept yapping for you guys. So, yeah. Well, that's it. Um, oh, you know what? I, I wonder if on the Celsius, um, on those Celsius drinks, if I had the tax. Yeah, I think I did. So, in Chicago, they have the tax now on, like, sugary drinks. So they had a food tax. So that must be, um, that must be it, I'm guessing. So, yeah. All right, you guys. That's it. If I have another segment on this vlog, it'll be, um, my, excuse me, my library haul. Does that sound dumb? Like, as a video? Or maybe... Excuse me, maybe I'll have it like as a separate video, library hall. Um, like books that I've checked out from my local library. I don't know if that sounds dumb or not. To me, it's interesting. I love the library. I love reading. I love books. I love learning. Um, I am constantly there trying, um, you know, to like refresh and brush up on my my knowledge with dance and performing arts and fitness. So these books that I checked out are related to those things. And